Hey everyone, thank you for joining us here at Ontario Business Central. My name is John and today we're going to talk about dissolving a business in Ontario. Regardless of why you're closing your business, there are steps you need to take in order to dissolve an incorporated business. Think of this as the natural business life cycle. Just as you need to register when you first open, you also need to formally file for dissolution if you choose to close your business. We can't overstate the importance of a formal dissolution. Legally, your business is only considered closed when you have completed the Articles of Dissolution and received the Certificate of Dissolution with the Province of Ontario. This puts a definite end date to the operations and responsibilities of an incorporated business. Don't worry, you don't have to navigate this process alone. Ontario Business Central is here to help. We can assist you with the dissolution so you can focus on other things that are important in your life. Let's get started. The Ontario government has made it easier to dissolve your corporation in the province of Ontario. To complete the Articles of Dissolution, you will first need the following information. The corporate name or numbered corporation name, the legal name of one director, including the officer position, name of individual or agent authorizing the dissolution, the date of dissolution. Next, you will need to select whether the corporation has or has not commenced business. If the corporation has not commenced business, read through the parameters provided online. Check off the box regarding debts, obligations, and property ownership if applicable. If the corporation has commenced business, there will be additional items to select. If applicable, such as if the corporation has no debts, it has provided for its debts or obtained consent from creditors, if there are either no properties to distribute or those properties have been distributed to shareholders. Now, you may have heard of something called the company key, and you may have received one when you first incorporated your business in Ontario, if this was after October of 2021. If you don't have a company key, the good news is that you don't need to provide the nine-digit number if you submit your articles of dissolution with Ontario Business Central. Since we are an intermediary service provider, we already have access to update corporate records without a company key. This saves you time and effort otherwise required to obtain the company key before completing the articles of dissolution on your own or with another company that is not an intermediary. And on that note, Ontario Business Central can submit all the documents required for dissolution on your behalf. It only takes a few minutes to complete our articles of dissolution form online. We will send the prepared articles of dissolution to you for approval, and once confirmation has been received by email, we will file on your behalf and you can focus on other aspects of closing down your business. So now, all you have left to do is attend to the termination of business operations. This includes notifying the following. Suppliers, landlord if applicable, employees making applicable severance, shareholders, Canada Revenue Agency. Closing down your business may seem difficult, but there are steps you can take to simplify the process. That's what Ontario Business Central does for you. We help you take care of the most vital parts of dissolving your business. Our experienced and knowledgeable team can complete the articles of dissolution quickly and hassle-free. So you have time to focus on other aspects of closing down and most importantly, figuring out your next move. Thanks so much for joining us today and I hope you found this quick guide helpful. And if you enjoyed watching, please like and subscribe. And check out our channel for more videos. Please reach out if you have any questions and I look forward to answering them and talking to you soon.